This is Matt from Dice Round Table. This is going to be a paint update for January, what is it, January 3rd, 2021. It's first update for the new year. And let's get really quick into what this is. Um, so I have completed nine Joan of Arc archers. They are, they were pretty quick and easy to go through. I got a set of blue. I made one set yellow and I made one set red. These went really quick um, to give it some variety. I do have a ton of Joan of Arc left to do for archers. So, boom, lots of archers in there. I did not feel like doing them all at one time, so I'm batch painting them in groups. I felt like nine was pretty good uh, Calvary is going to be another one I batch paint. So I have, you'll see this in a couple weeks ahead, but as a preview, I did some hobbying and this is probably the one I'm the most proud of. I turned this truck into an artillery tractor by putting a wooden crate in there. Uh, I got my other Bulgarian vehicles ready to go. So I got the two, I did the two other trucks with some setting them up. I did finish my benchmark model. Oh, the Joan of Arcs. This was, um, again, just contrast paints. The Joan of Arcs, smaller scale, I'm just doing contrast paints to mark off. So one little coat of gunmetal up on the metal for the neck protector. I picked a couple different browns to do their boots and leggings. And then I took, that was what, the yellow? contrast is that has the um i add in yellow the blood angels red and then the tesla blue uh contrast paints are the three primary colors there i'm going to do some more blues uh, i did finish my benchmark model and what the focus of this was i thought i was going to spend a little bit more time i did like how he came out i almost feel like i did some i got a little taste of cell shading especially on the shield and it's a paint style I'm thinking about exploring this year for a couple things I have I think what I'm gonna do is maybe pick up a couple transformer models and from WizKids and maybe put attempt at cell shading them but this one was to see um, how good I could paint up a figure um, as far as the level of painting I'm comfortable with. So I did do some washes. No contrast paints were used on this at all. It was a Zenithal highlight. So I had a um, black prime base with a gray, then a white prime coming in this way on him. And then I worked on making sure that followed the highlighting. So layers of orange. So the orange I ended up using was Army Painter Lava Orange and Game Air Orange Fire. This is very watery, but it worked well um, basing it with this and then adding this little level to it. The wood was wood grain from Vallejo. And then I lightened up with... Um, different versions of monster brown, leather brown, and I forget what the other brown was. The fur back here, I really wanted to experiment. So I did a gray base instead of doing brown fur. And then I put a blue ink wash from Army Painter into that. And then took uh, different shades of field and ash gray, mixing it up to highlight the different individual furs. The metal was highlighted going from the gun metal to plate to shining silver and then from Army Painter's line. And then to get the shining silver even a little lighter, I actually did mix some white in there and it actually lightened it up a little bit. So lightened it up on the helmet, the shield area up here, and then parts of the axe. But um, I'm going to try every January to take a figure comparable and repaint it and compare them to show where I am as a miniature painter. But I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. 
So that'll be up in the Facebook photo albums I have for Dice. I finished up 16 more Bulgarians. Here's some that are just sitting here. Finished off the bases. Uh, varnished, ready to go. Again, they all have the washer. Um, I have a washer with a magnet in the middle to help with the adhesion. And I think I might do a deeper video. So if you're on this one, you're going to get a snip snippet of what I'm going to do later. I, I paint with a pill bottle. And I used to tack the miniatures to this. But since I'm going to the metal washer, I can do this now. And I can just... I super glued some magnets to the top of the pill bottle. I can attach the miniature, paint it, take it off, put the next one on. Paint it, take it off, get my next one. That way it's totally interchangeable and I can work with it. So uh, I, I'm exploring how to expand on that. The other thing I'm going to be exploring at some point is for the Bulgarian project the mortar and the tanks or the weapons, artillery pieces come with bases like this. I am thinking about trying this. This is the lid. We have a Pampered Chef safe can opener. So it cuts the rim a little bit differently. So there's no sharp edges. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. It is bigger, just a little bit than this, this base. However, I can get a little bit more scenic looking on this and it's magnetic. So in theory, I can position the gun in the middle. I can magnetize the crew. That way when there's casualties, I can remove them from the base. And it all has weight. It would still be a magnetic. So when it goes in the case with the uh, magnetic uh, sheet on the bottom, it'll still um, fit with it and hook in so I have not pulled the trigger on doing it for sure but it's something I'm thinking about um, that way it just gives the base a little bit more otherwise I think that's it for this one I'm going to do a separate little video with what my plans are for painting this year because uh, I did achieve 610 miniatures last year it was three commissions two massive army commissions for bold action really pushed me over the edge I had a 60 some miniature British um, one and to start last year someone asked me to paint a German one and the German was probably at least almost a hundred models if not more it was um, a, a German tank war starter which was like six tanks or four tanks already it was two starter armies it was a box it was weapons artillery pieces it was just so many little pieces and bits that it was almost 100 miniatures by itself so i don't have those so i'm not thinking i think i uh, probably hit like for what i have planned if i paint everything i'm probably going to still hit about 300 but we're going to see how the year goes never know what's going to come up but that'll be a different video. Thanks for tuning in to this one. If you made it to the end, you saw some interesting little things that I'm thinking about. Maybe might give you some inspiration. Um, otherwise, Happy New Year and best inspiration for the painting ahead.